Hey everyone, I'm Alexandra and welcome to my series, Studio Fix, where I show you how to transform your teeny tiny studio apartment into the most beautiful, organized, and cozy home you've ever lived in. I'm going to keep decorating. You got a makeover to do, so... <laughs> Carla, are you ready? finally have a new episode of Studio Fix coming at you. And this one is really special because I am making over my production assistant Alana's entire studio apartment. Alana works so hard here at Team AG to bring everyone else makeovers. So it's finally time to treat her to a complete apartment transformation. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out makeovers every Saturday. A huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. More on them later, but for now, let's get started. So Alana and her boyfriend Jordan live in this tiny studio apartment in downtown Toronto. And Alana hasn't really done anything yet with her apartment. I mean, they just moved in and I've always told her that like she's just so busy making other people's homes look nice that she hasn't had time and energy to make hers look beautiful. Alana has this old bed and a sofa that she inherited from friends and family. And I am going to completely upgrade these pieces for her. We're gonna be doing a really fun Ikea hack. We're gonna get her a new bed and just like, elevate it. I am getting her a brand new couch to replace this old one and just making it feel a lot more like warmer and cozier and stylish in here for her and Jordan. So the first thing that we had done was I sent in a painter to paint the whole apartment white. It was renter beige. You guys know that I always say no renter beige. It was the color when they moved in and it just kind of made the walls feel a little bit outdated and it's a standard color, I get it, but I just feel like the white makes it feel so much brighter and fresher in here. The next thing Alana and Jordan did was move out their bed and their sofa. I'm pretty sure the sofa is just on the curb. It looks so lonely sitting out on the side of the road, but that's where it belongs. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Shade, baby. <laughs> this couch was old. It just needed to go, and we're ready to get started. Cut. It is makeover day. I'm so excited. Alana and her partner Jordan have done so much work to get this studio apartment prepped. This is what it's looking like now a little bit chaotic the walls look so good it looks brighter in here and just way more fresh but this is the fun part because now we get to just put everything together and make it look super pretty so the first thing i'm gonna do is hang some curtains elena didn't have curtains and she said that it didn't bother her like the light didn't wake her up in the morning but i'm adding curtains because i think it's gonna make this apartment feel a lot cozier and more inviting and warm it was really difficult to find a curtain rod that was going to attach to either side of the wall, which I find is common in most condos. So a little tip for you guys, I actually got ceiling brackets that we've mounted to the ceiling and we're just putting the curtain rod through the brackets and they sit really nicely that way. I got these linen curtains, they're really beautiful. They're kind of an off-white. Again, just making it feel a lot cozier in here. So now that we've hung the curtains, it's time to deal with this blank wall. And we're putting a lot of art in the living area. So I knew that I wanted to have some sort of shelf on display. I feel like shelves are so great in an open concept home because they act as storage, but also as a place to put like all of your fun decorative things. Because of the job Alana does, she collects, you know, lots of vintage pieces, lots of art. So she actually thrifted the shelf that I'm gonna hang up. It's gonna be a great spot for me to put candles and other decorative items later on in this makeover. So the next thing I'm gonna do is do a DIY headboard for Alana. Now this is a really exciting Ikea hack. It's really simple. And this was the inspiration for this headboard. So I feel like we've all seen these beds going around right now. They have the cane headboard, but the thing is, is that they're really expensive. This one is almost $2,000. So I thought I could do a fun Ikea hack. I got the Tarva bed from Ikea. This is untreated pine. It's really inexpensive. I think it might be their most inexpensive bed that they have. And you want some caning. You can get this on Amazon or from your local craft store. Like, am I done? And you also want a staple gun. And all you do, it's super simple, is just staple the cane to the back of the headboard.
this looks so good and like we did not DIY it. I feel like you would find this in a home decor store and like what a hack. Such an easy DIY and super cost effective. Okay, so now I'm gonna build the rest of the bed frame, get this on the bed. This headboard looks incredible. These curtains just warm up this room so much. But before I style this side of the room, we're actually gonna move on to the living area and I am gonna unbox this stunning sofa from Article. Thank you so much to Article for donating this beautiful sofa to Alana. I know she is just gonna be so shocked and just in love with this couch. Now, the way I'm placing it is the way her and Jordan had it before. So it's going right by the patio door and it's really gonna act as a divide between the bed and the living area. So try to create some separation. Look at that, it's so good. It's also the perfect size. That's another thing I love about article couches is that, oh, hey, Kelso. They have, you know, regular size sofas, but then they also have these really beautiful ones in smaller sizes too. So they'll fit in your tiny studio apartment or your condo. Kelso approved. Hey, you like it? He likes it. I feel like I've said this so many times in this series, but in a studio apartment, everything that's out needs to count. It needs to make a statement, which this sofa definitely does. So next up, I am actually tackling this wall. So this is the wall that's attached to the kitchen. It's right beside the sofa. And Jordan and Alana need a place to eat or do work, just like a tiny table. And in a studio apartment, a drop leaf table is the way to go. It saves space, it's super functional. And when it's not in use, it just folds down, tucks away. And then when they need to use it, they just lift it up, which is awesome. Article also sent us these beautiful leather stools. They're so sleek and they're just gonna complete this little dining nook perfectly. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Studio Fix, but I wanted to take a brief pause in the video to talk about this week's sponsor, Squarespace, and talk about a really exciting new venture I have launched over on my website. I have launched a virtual design service for five people every month. Basically, I am offering virtual design packages, which means you send in photos of your space, you send in measurements of the room you would like designed, and I basically send you back a package Package with product suggestions and a room plan and then you get to hop on a call with me to chat through the design which is really exciting. The reason I'm mentioning this in conjunction with Squarespace is because my website is run and powered through Squarespace and I love it. It's a really easy platform to create a blog, a website, a store, and there's also so many functions on the back end which help you keep track of analytics, so what blogs are performing well, what email campaigns. You can also send out email campaigns, which is so cool. And also for someone like me who's a small business owner and busy, being able to really easily build my website on Squarespace, make tweaks to it, I'm always kind of updating it and adding new things, has been really awesome. And I know right now, you know, so many people are trying to figure out what the future holds for them. And if you're a small business owner who maybe wants to, I don't know, try your hand at writing a blog or starting a small shop, Squarespace is a great place to start, especially if you have no knowledge on how to build a website, how to code, how to use HTML, all of that stuff. Squarespace makes it really simple and easy for you to build your website without having to even think about all of that techie stuff. So head to squarespace.com to sign up for a free trial and then use my code for 10% off your first website or domain. Also, if you didn't get a spot in September for my virtual design service, don't worry, you can sign up for the waitlist so you will be notified right away when the October slots are open. Okay, let's get back to Alana's studio makeover. So to complete this little dining nook, I am hanging some art. And the thing I noticed first when I walked into Alana's apartment is that she had no art hanging on the walls. And I find that in such a small space, art always brings in so much color and pattern. Even if you don't change the furniture like we've done, just adding some art can make a huge difference. Now, if you're watching this channel, 
you probably are on a budget, you're probably looking for ways to make your space beautiful without spending a ton of money, and that counts for art as well. So I've talked about this before, but I got this print from the Juniper Print Shop, and they sell downloadable art. So that means that their art is sold at a fraction of a cost of what it would normally be. This print was $20. We downloaded it and then got it printed in this really big size, and then we just framed it in a really inexpensive IKEA frame. Printable and downloadable art like this one is so great because you can have gallery worthy pieces in your home for less than $50, which is amazing. Oh, no, Kelso, no, not on the new sofa. Was he trying to scratch it? Don't even think about it right now. This makeover is slowly but surely coming together. What a difference already. But now it's time to focus on this side of the living room. So we took the TV down off the mount because I wanna do a gallery wall on this wall and I was gonna include the TV in that, but it just is kind of an eyesore doesn't look great. So I think I'm actually going to either buy legs for it so it can sit on top of the console I have going in here. But right now we're just gonna move it out of the shot because I don't know what's happening with it. Alana also had this small drawer here. I wanted to give her even more storage because this wall is quite large. And in a studio, storage is limited. So I got her this beautiful dresser. I painted it an off-white, it's called Wicker White kind of like vintage, it goes with her neutral color palette that she likes. So I'm placing that against this wall. It's gonna be really nice to style, but also give her just a place for so much more storage. Um, guys, how could I forget? I have beautiful gold legs to put on the bottom of this dresser. Another fun Ikea hack, it's really simple. Just order some legs from Amazon or the hardware store, put them on the bottom and suddenly it's elevated and it just looks it just looks more chic, more stylish. And you can clean under it. And Carla says you can clean under it. Yes. So I wanted to put leather knobs on the front of this dresser, but they come with this silver bolt that you need to attach the screw to. And I didn't like that look, especially since we have gold legs. So we are just cutting off the top of the knob, just like this. And then you wanna take a gold screw and just drill it through the leather and into the dresser. They look way more rustic this way, I think, and just way more pulled together than the silver. Cute! I'm gonna be adding even more color and decoration with a gallery wall above the dresser. So since Alana and Jordan don't yet have a TV stand, I'm designing this gallery wall as if a TV wasn't here. That's because Alana obviously is perfectly capable of creating a beautiful gallery wall. So once they get a stand and a TV that they like, they might upgrade theirs. Then she can redesign the gallery wall with the TV in mind so the TV isn't blocking any of the art. But for now, this is the next best solution. One really big piece of decor that was missing in Alana's apartment was a rug. And rugs are so great, not only to divide up a studio apartment into different sections, but also to add lots of warmth. So I'm bringing in this massive rug, I'm putting it under her bed, and this just divides the bedroom from the living room without actually putting up a physical divide. I love the peach colors in it, the vintage vibe. Again, we're keeping it neutral with like soft colors, but it still makes an impact. So Alana loves all things ceramic. She loves the color terracotta. So I thought, how cool would it be to take a bowl, flip it upside down, add some fairy lights, and hang it beside her bed as like a little ambient lighting. So I was in a thrift store in Prince Edward County. It's a small town in Ontario, and literally found the most perfect bowl to make a light out of. I drilled a hole in the top using a diamond drill bit. And then all you wanna do is take some rope from the dollar store. This was literally $1. You wanna thread it through, tie a knot at the bottom, like this. And then you wanna glue in some fairy lights. I also found these from the dollar store. And then you wanna take your fairy lights and literally just like weave them to the inside of the bowl. I'm gonna add some hot glue as well to keep them in place. You could also use a puck light if you wanted a stronger amount of light, but you wanna make sure that the puck light opens from the front so you can change the battery. Look at that. Flip the light over, tie another knot, and then you just wanna hang it above your bed.
Now we're styling the shelves, my favorite part. So now it's time for those finishing touches. I'm bringing lots of greener in here with some plants. Cute. This beautiful gold light for their living room. And then a ton of cute accessories because the accessories are really what makes a space and pulls it all together. Okay, so before you open your eyes, I just wanna say, Alana, you are such a cherished member of Team AG. I'm so happy I got to do this for you and Jordan. I want you to picture what your apartment looked like before. Super ugly. <laughs> Super ugly. Not cozy, needed a lot more love. And you give love to so many other people's spaces except yours. So, the count of three, I'm really nervous. I want you guys to open your eyes, okay? Okay. One, two, three. <gasps> Oh my God! Wow. It looks so good! This is like unrecognizable. <laughs> oh my God, this is wow. so nice. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a so fresh like upgrade. <laughs> Fresh and stylish. Fresh and stylish. Your cute little light. It's like a completely different a mood. Yeah. I thought that was a plant holder. Battery powered cool. light. Yeah. All right, you guys are fancy. <laughs> Can we talk about the couch? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. That, the other couch needed to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything's just like it's perfect. So it's, it's so, so cohesive. It's very much like your tones. Yeah. The oranges. If you guys have been watching, you guys no, know that no, I've no, been no. dying for an orange tree and like, there you go. Oh my God, the rug looks so the good. The rug looks so good. I can't believe yeah. we're gonna live here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love it. I'm so glad. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Studio Fix. I love this series and I'm so glad you guys love it too. This makeover was intense. It was transformative and I'm so glad that I got to do this for Alana. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna start your own website or blog, make sure you head to squarespace.com to start your free trial and use my code, which will be right here, for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. And I will see you next time. Bye.